So today I am going to show you uh, one of the ways I use uh, data merge capabilities in InDesign. Um, so for Division 3, we were recently allowed to have a celebratory signing form um, that we could modify slightly. Um, so I have created this form for uh, our coaches to use. Um, and so it's not generic. Um, I have our individual sport logos uh, and in the text it says, you know, I intend to participate in the sport of baseball. Uh, and it has a year. And so one of the things that I don't want to have to do is create 19 of these for each of our sports every year to update the date. Um, that's, uh, in the whole scheme of things, it probably, is, this probably isn't going to save a ton of time here, but it saves a little. Um, and you can see uh, how this could be useful in other aspects. Uh, so to start with, what I need to do is create a, a CSV file. Uh, I use Excel to do it. And the things that I'm going to change are sport and the image. And so I give the, each of these a title. I call it sports, and I type out what I want the sport to, to say. Um, you know, for example, uh, it's just baseball. I don't want it to say men's baseball and so on and so forth. Uh, and then for the image, if you're going to include a file, and it's basically it, it's not replacing text, it's uh, substituting a file, uh, you need to have this at uh, sign before it. But if if you just type the at in Excel, it's going to want to uh, think it's a function. So what we need to do is before the at sign, uh, type an apostrophe at image. And then that works. And then this is the location uh, of your image. If your image is located in the same directory as your uh, InDesign file, you don't need the whole structure, just the file name. Mine is not, um, but uh, it was easy enough to, to type out the whole uh, directory structure. And so I'll file, save as, uh, and save it as a CSV file. Okay. I'm going to save that because it's already set. Uh, and then what I'm going to do. Uh, if, if it's not showing, which it probably is not, I want to go to Windows, Utility, and Data Merge. Uh, and there's actually a Data Merge in here. You'll see. Let's see. So it'll look like this. Uh, and I'm going to click on this little menu icon to select my data source and find it and select it. And now you can see my two uh, fields have, have been populated here. And all I need to do is I want to replace this one right here. I'm just going to click on sport and there and that gets replaced and then I'm going to click on this right here and click on image and that gets replaced. Um, and so if I click preview and you can see I can scroll through each one of those and it's changing this image is changing as well as this text right here. So now uh, a little trick uh, to get the files exported easily. Um, we need somewhere in the document to have a style applied to a line uh, that will ultimately be the name of the file. So down here I've got this field right here um, and as you can see it's actually uh, it's, it's actually a separate box all by itself um, but it could be uh, just a lone paragraph uh, in your text somewhere. So I'm going to assign that sport as well. And so if I uncheck preview, you can see it's a sport. And I want to make sure that that has its own paragraph style. And you'll see why in a minute. Um, let's, we'll delete that for now. And I want to, so I want to create my own style. So I highlight it. And then new style and I want to call that sport click OK okay and so now that is sport so now I'm gonna do the data merge so right click on this or left click on this little thing again and I want to create a merge document and I want to merge records all the records and uh, records per document, I want a single record per document. 
So I'm just going to click OK. And I think most of that stuff is defaulted anyways. And so it's created my merge document. It tells me no te over text was generated. And I can see it created a page for each one. Football, football, football. Those are all correct. So now I want to export into multiple files. So I'm going to go to layout. And this is the little trick that we just did. Let's go to table of contents. And I want to add sport. Click it over there. And make sure the create PDF bookmarks is checked. It should be by default. Click OK. It's going to want to add a bookmark. We can just set it over here uh, on the pasteboard because we actually don't need the bookmark. Um, and you'll see why we did that in a minute. And then from there, I can file export. And it's going to be desktop. the signing form. I'm going to export it. I want to export all the pages. And I want to make sure that uh, include bookmarks is checked. Click export. And so that should have created this signing form document that I'll open. Um, and there it's opened. And so if we click on our bookmarks, you can see that We've, each page is bookmarked um, with these titles. So now what we can do is go into Tools, uh, Organize Pages, and we want to split. We want to split by top-level bookmarks. Uh, we can use the output options um, where we want these to put. They can, for now, I'm just going to put them where the existing document is. And I want to use bookmark names for file names. Click OK and split. And it's been split into 19 documents. So now you can see here are all the documents. And each one has the correct baseball, baseball, baseball. Uh, so that's it. Uh, it's in this case, it probably doesn't save a whole ton of time, but it it, it probably cuts your time in half, and uh, you can see how uh, in other instances this may be more useful.